<laughs> hey, I am Gokui, and the show starts now. This is Absolute Cinema! As Goku closed his eyes and focused, the celestial energy surged within him, resonating with his very being. The air around him crackled with anticipation as his aura began to shift. His body became enveloped in a brilliant azure glow, and his hair took on the ethereal hue of Ultra Instinct. Daishikan observed with keen interest as Goku's transformation unfolded. The intense power radiating from Goku was unlike anything he had ever witnessed before. Well done, Goku! You have achieved the pinnacle of mastery over Angelic Key. This form is a testament to your dedication and strength. Thank you, Daishikan. I'm grateful for your guidance. Now, Goku, with this power, you possess the means to face even the most formidable adversaries. But remember, true strength lies not only in power, but in wisdom and compassion. I understand. I'll use this power to protect everyone. Daishikan observed Goku's progress with a sense of satisfaction. He knew that Goku's journey was far from over, but with the power of Angelic Ki at his disposal, Goku was prepared to face whatever challenges lay ahead. As Goku felt a surge of energy coursing through him, he marveled at the incredible power he had attained. The celestial energy pulsated around him, filling him with a sense of profound strength and purpose. Whoa, this power is incredible! As he glanced down at his hands, he was taken aback. Whoa, what's happening to me? My skin! This is the true power of Angelic Ki, Goku. Your body has harmonized with the energy of the gods. Embrace it. <clears throat> okay. I can do this. I can do this. I'll master this power and become even stronger. With each passing moment, Goku grew accustomed to the celestial energy coursing through his veins. The sensation was exhilarating, empowering him with like never before. As Goku continued his training under Daishikan's guidance, the celestial realm echoed with the sounds of his newfound power. With his skin aglow and his spirit renewed, Goku's journey to harness the power of a god killer had truly begun. As Gohan traversed the ominous landscape of the Makai realm, he suddenly halted, his senses tingling with a familiar surge of energy that felt like a beacon in the darkness. Closing his eyes, he focused intently trying to pinpoint the source of this extraordinary power. <coughs> it can't be! Father? Gohan muttered to himself. The sensation was unmistakable, a radiant energy that seemed to cut through the shadows of the Makai realm. Despite the distance spanning countless light years away, Gohan could sense Goku's presence as if they were standing side by side. The intensity of Goku's felt like a different, now heightened, Refined and pulsating with a celestial aura. Wow, Dad. What have you gotten yourself into this time? With renewed determination, Gohan continued his quest through the treacherous realm. Each step fueled by the knowledge that his father was out there, pushing the boundaries of power in ways that even Gohan couldn't fully comprehend. Unbeknownst to Gohan, the celestial energy he sensed from afar was just the beginning of Goku's transformative journey, a path that would lead them both to confrontation beyond the mortal realm and challenges that would test the very fabric of their existence. But for now, as Gohan pressed forward to the realm of the Makai, he carried with him the assurance that Goku's boundless spirit was alive and blazing with newfound vigor. As Gohan ventured deeper into the foreboding reaches of the Makai realm, a distant whisper echoed in his mind. A voice that seemed to emanate from the very essence of Akumo, the primal force residing within him. It was a cryptic reminder of the challenges ahead, urging Gohan to surpass his father's prodigious abilities and master the ancient essence that coursed through his veins. You seek strength, Gohan. But your current path will not suffice. To rival your father, you must transcend mortal limitations and embrace the ancestral power that stirs within. But 
Tao, Gohan murmured. What must I do to master this, this essence? The response was a haunting silence. The shadows whispering their enigmatic secrets as Gohan pressed onward. With every step, the weight of his destiny bore down upon him. A destiny intertwined with the legacies of his father and the primal forces that awaited their awakening. As Whis and Beerus observed from the tranquil expanse of Beerus' planet, a subtle shift in the cosmic energies rippled through across the cosmos. Whis, with his ever-perceptive gaze, noted the change and turned to the contemplative deity beside him. It appears to have begun, Lord Beerus. You mean... Goku has achieved a new pinnacle? Indeed. The signs are unmistakable. His key has ascended to a level that rivals the divine. <laughs> well, well. Seems our Saiyan friend never ceases to surprise. Shall we pay him a visit, my lord? Very well, Whis. <laughs> Let's see just how far he's come. With one snap, Whis conjured a shimmering portal that enveloped their both transporting them across the vast reaches of space towards the radiant aura that marked Goku's transcendence. As they traversed the cosmic currents, Beerus couldn't help but wonder what sort of challenge awaited him in the wake of Goku's evolution. Meanwhile, on Beerus' planet, Goku's aura pulsed with celestial vigor, the azure hue of his ki casting an ethereal glow. His concentration was absolute as he delved deeper into the mysteries of the angelic energy he now wielded. As the portal materialized before them, Beerus and Whis stepped onto the threshold of Goku's training, their presence heralded by a ripple of anticipation. Goku, sensing their arrival, turned to greet them with a knowing smile. Beerus, Whis! <laughs> I made some incredible breakthroughs! So this is what all the fuss is about, eh? Beerus regarded Goku with a mix of amusement and curiosity. I've been learning to channel the energy of the angels. It's like nothing I've ever felt before. Ah, oh, you've tapped into a profound source, Goku. But remember, with great power comes great, great responsibility. responsibility. That's right. All right, enough chatter. Show us what you've got, Goku. With a focused nod, Goku assumed a poised stance. His eyes blazing with determination, the air around him crackled with latent energy, a testament to the boundless potential he now possessed. As Beerus and Whis observed, Goku unleashed a flurry of movements that defied mortal comprehension, his body moving with the grace of a celestial dancer. Each strike carried the weight of his newfound might, a testament to his unwavering resolve. Beerus, his gaze fixed upon Goku's display, couldn't help but feel a surge of excitement. Well, Goku, let's see if you're truly worthy of this supreme status. Beerus, his eyes narrowing with intrigue, felt a surge of anticipation as he beheld Goku's celestial display. The Saiyan's azure aura pulsed with an intensity that resonated through the cosmos, catching even Beerus off guard. Hmm. It's been ages since I've felt energy like this. Certainly reminiscent of a true god killer. I've been working hard to harness this power, Lord Beerus. Goku has stepped into a unique source of energy, my lord. One that bridges the mortal and divine realms. Hmm. <laughs> Very well, Goku. Let's see if you can handle the true test. With a flick of his wrist, Beerus propelled himself forward, his own key igniting in response to Goku's challenge. The clash of their energies reverberated across the celestial expanse, a testament to the sheer magnitude of their power. As Goku and Beerus sparred, Whis watched with a knowing smile, the cosmic ballet of their battle unfolding before him. The training ground of Beerus' planet became a crucible of divine might with Goku pushing himself to the nil limits under the watchful eye of the God of Destruction. Hours passed like fleeting moments as Goku and Beerus exchanged blows, each strike resonating with the weight of their respective destinies. The air crackled with the intensity of their combat, a symphony of raw power and unyielding determination. Finally, with a resounding clash, Goku and Beerus came to a momentary standstill 
their energies intermingling in a dazzling display of cosmic prowess. Beerus, his expression inscrutable, regarded Goku with newfound respect. You've come a long way, Goku. But remember, power alone doesn't make a god killer. I understand, Lord Beerus. I'll continue to push myself to become even stronger. Indeed, Goku. The path to mastery is paved with diligence and discipline. The echoes of their battles subsided. Goku and Beerus exchanged a nod of mutual understanding. The celestial energies around them settled, leaving behind a lingering sense of possibility. Goku glimpsed in a fleeting moment the boundless potential that lay ahead. A journey towards greatness that transcended mortal and divine boundaries alike. Goku stood within the sanctum of Daishikun's palace. The lingering echoes of his celestial transformation still resonated within him. The azure hue of his ki had subsided, yet a newfound sense of purpose burned brightly in his eyes. It appears that your training has reached its initial conclusion, Goku. Thank you, Daishika. I've learned more than I ever imagined. <laughs> you have tapped into the essence of angelic ki, a power that few mortals can comprehend. But remember, Goku, true strength lies not only in power, but in the mastery of oneself. <laughs> How many times I heard that? I'll continue to push myself to become stronger and more disciplined. Good. Now... Return to your world, Goku. Your son, Gohan, still has challenges of his own to face. Meanwhile, in the depths of the Makai realm, Gohan continued his quest, his determination unyielding. With each step, he drew closer to the truth behind the disturbances of the timelines. Unaware of the cosmic forces at play, the destinies of father and son intertwine their destinies their journeys converging amidst the vast tapestry of the universe. And as Goku united with his loved ones, a silent resolve echoed within him. A resolve to embrace the challenges ahead no matter how daunting. Daishikan's words hung in the air, carrying the weight of destiny. Goku listened intently, his resolve unwavering despite the gravity of the task ahead. Your final test awaits, Goku. With your newfound power, you are now recognized as the God Killer of Universe 7. This news must reach all the gods of destruction across the universes. I understand, Daishikan. But what does it mean to be a God Killer? To be a God Killer is to transcend mortal limits and challenge divine beings. Daishikan's expression softened, revealing a hint of enigmatic wisdom. It is a title that signifies your ability to contend with the highest powers of the cosmos. Does this mean I'll have to fight the gods of destruction? <laughs> Not necessarily, Goku. Your role as a god killer is one of balance and harmony. Your power serves as a deterrent against the chaos, a safeguard for the cosmos. All right, now do whatever it takes, Daishikan. I won't let you down, and I won't let this power go to waste. Go now, Goku. Embrace your destiny and forge your path among the stars. The gods await news of the new god killer. Goku's expression flickered with a mix of concern and anticipation as Daishikan spoke. The weight of his new title settled heavily in his shoulders, and he understood the gravity of the forthcoming announcement. Wait, Daishikan, won't the news upset the gods of destruction? I don't want to cause any trouble. <laughs> Fear not, Goku. Your role as a god killer is a necessary balance in the grand design of the cosmos. The gods of destruction will understand its significance. <laughs> I hope you're right, Daishikan. In the grand hall of Daishikan's palace, the divine atmosphere hummed with the expectations of the gods of destruction from across the multiverse assembled. Their expressions ranged from curiosity to cautious skepticism as they awaited Daishikan's announcement. Daishikan, flanked by Goku, stood at the center of the gathering. His presence commanded respect and reverence among the gods. Mighty gods of destruction, I have convened this assembly to relay important news regarding Universe 7. The gathered deities exchanged murmurs and speculative glances. Their attention fully focused on Daishikan. In recent times, a mortal has ascended to the title of God Killer within Universe 7. Silence fell over. Daishikan announced, 
this mortal. Gonka stood beside him, his demeanor resolute despite the tension in the air. He is none other than Son Goku. Whispers erupted among the gods of destruction, their reactions ranging from surprise to disbelief. Goku maintained his composure, bracing himself for the response. Elder Daishikan! One of the gods spoke, his voice laced with skepticism. What does this mean for the balance of the cosmos? A mortal, a god killer? Goku's ascension signifies a new era, one where mortals can rise to challenge the divine. His power serves as a deterrent against chaos, ensuring the stability of Universe 7. <laughs> I understand the weight of this title. Don't you worry, gods. I will use my power responsibly to maintain balance. After a moment of contemplative silence, one of the gods nodded thoughtfully. If Daishikan deems this mortal worthy, then we shall respect this decision. The assembly concluded with a newfound understanding acknowledging Goku's role as a god killer of Universe 7. As the gods departed, Goku and Daishikan remained in the hall, the weight of their conversation settling into the fabric of cosmic order. For Goku, the journey as the god killer had just begun. A path fraught with challenges but also brimming with the potential to shape the fate of the universe. To be continued! Ah, how incredible this power is! So is this what angels can do? Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos! Don't miss the next episode! Is Goku the target of the gods? It's gonna be awesome!